in case one condition right the wind speed is 12 meter per second and uh, irradiation at equal to 1000 watt per meter square so for that here you have to fix the speed is 12 meter per second So here you have to fix the 12 meter per second and the uh, irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square and then uh, here you have to fix the step time equal to 1.1. So now you are going to submit the model so you will get the result this kind of result. So here you will get uh, the PV power is 2000 watts and then uh, you will get a uh, uh, rectifier the wind, wind, wind rectifier boost converter voltage 400 volt and then here you will get a 6 amps current from the boost converter and then this is the power of that uh, boost converter wind, wind side boost converter so this is a voltage and current of the boost converter SOC of the battery Sorry, this is voltage and current of the uh, battery and SOC of the battery. And then here, so this is a calculation, right? So this is a, the power rating, voltage, current rating of the PV, wind, battery, and the AC load. Okay. So here you can see that uh, here we have. Uh, 2000 watts power and then uh, wind will be generated 2400 this load is 1000 and battery is 3300 so total here you will see that 4400 uh, total load is uh, 4300 so totally uh, 100 watts is losses in the system so so this is a first condition right so here you will see that result. Okay. So this is the first condition. So just you have to make here wind speed 12 meter per second, irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square, and then here just you have to make uh, step time equal to 1.1. And then simulate the model, you will get the result. And then this is the final result of this uh, case one condition. And case two condition. So here we need to change the irradiation. Case two condition, the wind speed is 912 meter per second. And uh, irradiation will be changed from uh, 1000 to 500 watts per meter square. So for that you have to change uh, this switch right to upper position and then here already make that changes 1 to 500 okay so no the remaining thing you have to keep as it is and then simulate the model okay so once you simulate the model so you will see the result same kind of result in the graph so during change of irradiation right from 1000 to 500 so what will be happen the PV power reduced to 1000 watts. Okay. The remaining thing will be same, right? That means wind will be generated same kind of power. And then uh, what will be happen? The battery current will be reduced, right? Uh, it's going to be reduced from minus 15 amps to uh, minus around uh, 10 point something. Okay. So, so this is because the reduction in the PV power. So here we will provide the detail because reduction in the PV power. So you see, you see that the PV power PV is generating 1000 watts. So wind is generating 2400. Now battery power is 2300 and AC load is 1000. So total power will be 3400 and total load will be 3000. So, uh, 3300. Okay. So, this is for condition 2. So, here you have to make changes 
here and then you can take the result. So this is a condition two. Okay. So once uh, at the time of 0.5 second, irradiation will be changed from 1000 to 500, and then you can see the result. So here you can see that because of change in irradiation, the people are reducing, right? So same kind of result only we are getting here. So this is case two. So next one is case three. So in case three condition, wind speed change from 12 meter per second to 11 meter per second and irradiation will be maintained 1000. Okay. So for that, here you have to change the manual switch to lower position and then here you have to change the manual position to upper and then inside we created change in wind speed condition from 12 meter per second to 0.5 meter per second okay. in the wind side okay so now what happened the wind power going to be reduced because of reduction in the wind speed okay So here the PV will be maintained at 2000 watts. So only changes will be occur in the uh, PV current, right? Sorry, wind current. So wind current is maintained around the 4 amps. Okay. So initially it will be maintained 6 amps. It's now around to 4 amps. Okay. So because of that, what happened? Again, uh, <coughs> there, will, there will be reduction in the battery current from minus 15 amps to uh, 10.5 okay so same thing will be reported here So here you can see that the power of PV is 2000, the power of wind will be 1600, then load power is 1000 and battery power is 2300. So power generation around 3600 and then load will be 3300. Okay. So here you will see that uh, changes after 0.2 second in the Particular current. Now you can see that so there is change changes in the wind wind uh, wind side boost converter current right change from uh, six to uh, four amps. Okay, and also you can see the reduction in the battery current also. Okay, so this is the uh, detail of uh, case three. Okay, so next to move on to case four. So in case four, and the load change from one thousand to thousand five hundred watts. Okay. So at the time of point um, five second, we are changing the load from one thousand to thousand five hundred, and then here wind speed is maintained twelve meter per second and uh, one thousand watts per meter square. So here you have to change the condition in the simulation. So here you have to change this position to here and this position to here. And then here in load side, just you have to here you have to make 0 0.5. Okay. And then simulate the model and then check the result. The result will be same, that means uh, 2000 PV will be generated 2000 and then wind will be generated. Uh, around 2400 and then battery consume around 2800 okay and now you can see the variation in the uh, load AC load right it's changed from 1000 to 1500 okay so you see the variation here so only changes in the AC load, AC load side because we are maintaining wind speed and the 
solar radiation constant. So here you can see the, the total power generation will be 4400 and then so here you will see that uh, the total load right uh, around the uh, 4300 okay. So this is for AC load condition so, so here also you can see that uh, variation in the grid power right grid power or uh, AC load here. So here you will see that variation. So initially it maintained at uh, 1000 watts, watts okay. So after 0.5 second it going to be changed to 1500. So here you can see that the power change from 1000 to 1500. So same result only we have reported here. And then uh, next PV wind battery with good operation. So here how much power will be shared from the grid so that detail is provided here right the main uh, so here you are maintaining uh, the same condition uh, uh, irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square wind speed equal to 12 meter per second and then so here we are taking power from the grid uh, is around uh, uh, 3 amps okay. So for that, now the battery SOC, right, we are taking battery SOC 9 percentage. So here you can see that when the PV wind battery mode equal to 0. So here we are providing zero means so that will be operated in the standalone mode. When you are providing a, a, this constant equal to one means it's going to be operating in the grid transition mode. That means so when is it is equal to zero means so the grid will be disconnected from the system. So only uh, the PV wind and battery so going to be supply the power to the load as well as uh, and load right uh, if suppose excess power available then the battery will be charged there is no power in the wind and uh, solar then battery will be going to be charged that uh, that will supply the load okay so that is called standalone mode so when um, we are putting this constant equal to one the grid going to be connected to the system uh, when grid is connected to the system so based upon that uh, uh, this condition so based upon SOC of the battery and PV current, right? So we are uh, taking power to the grid or we are taking supply the power to the grid. Okay. So here you can see that when SOC is uh, less than 10 percentage and PV current is less than 0.5 amps. So we are taking uh, power from the grid. So when uh, PV current is more than 0.5, SOC is greater than 10 percentage, we are sending power to the grid. So this is a concept being implemented here. So that, that result only here we are zone, right? So how the grid is supplying the power to the system. Okay. So that will be you can see here, right? In the grid machine here. Okay. So how much the during grid connected operation, the how much power we are taken taken from the grid. So that detail can be taken, you can see here, right? So this is a result uh, we have taken for this particular model for different cases. Okay, thank you.